Hello everyone, today um, we want to talk about endangered species. So um, let's just take a look uh, at the meaning of endangered. Endangered, endangered is something like when an animal is reaching its peak of ex- extinction. So it's like, um, let's take one example of an animal like the snow leopard the snow leopard is going to go extinct and i think we should all we should all take action like stop illegal hunting activities try to give it food maintain its food chain like the megalodon it went extinct i think so it went extinct because it its food chain got Killed. Yeah. So the meaning of endangered is like an animal is going to reach a peak of its peak of extinction, but it's, it didn't extinct yet. So um, let's look at three ways we can stop. Uh, we can prevent endangered animals to reach the peak of extinction. So the first thing we can do is stop illegal hunting activities and maybe stop all the hunting activities because just like the dodo the dodo extinct because of hunting activities it was defenseless of course and the reason animal that just had when just went extinct is uh is a rodent let me show you guys is this It's called Bramble K. Melomnis. Yeah, it just... You can see here, the Bramble K. Melomnis or Bramble K. Mozak Tail Rat is a recently extinct species. Yeah, it yeah, extinct. It was declared extinct in 2019. So yeah, the second way we can stop animals, endangered animals to reach the pink of peak of extinction is to stop cutting down trees like stop stop um stop cutting down their habitats yeah the habitats like the trees the trees and number three to if like we want we have to make paper we can find an alternative way so there's already an alternative way which is disgusting but it works is to take elephant poop, elephant, elephant dung, and then in Sri Lanka they take elephant dung, and then they, they basically you know, make it into paper. So me, also I recently read, the way we can use water is by using our own pee. In Singapore they do not have so much water, so they took urine, human urine. And then they clean it so many times and they test it maybe like almost they test the water five thousand times so to make sure it's clean to drink. So um let's take a look at a bar chart of uh, endangered species. So um you can see here uh, the year and the number of how many animals are going extinct. So now you can see here um that in 2007 there was only 7851 species going extinct uh, it was in 7851 endangered animals and then it, ri- it rise up until 2019 in 2019 there was 14234 animal uh, endangered species so i think it's because um, humans are in need of all uh, buildings buildings like um, we also need a place to stay but let's try to limit the number of buildings so um, so like Singapore they help take care of their environment they care about the animals so yeah and then let's take a look at the top three famous endangered, endangered species number one the giant panda um the giant panda is 
still have many there are still many giant pandas today let's take a look pandas giant pandas yeah the giant panda also known as the panda bear is a bear native to south central china it's characterized by its bold black and white coat and rotund body the name giant panda is sometimes used to distinguish it from the red panda a neighboring mustelloy so um it reaches 70 to 120 kg when it's an adult for female its lifespan is 20 years which is certainly good family usidae order carnivora it's a carnivore right it's carnivore so giant pandas have faced very few predat predators i think it can beat uh, it but some animals can prey on cubs potential predators for the giant pandas uh, include jackals or snow leopards too and yellow throat martens if you guys don't know what this is let me google it for you i'm sorry it's raining right here oh throat martens yeah this this can kill a giant panda what how can this kill a giant panda i don't know but it's certainly amazing there are one thing one name i know for the giant panda is giant panda is mei ying i think let's search i think it's mei ying uh mei ying Luna? mei xiang it's mei xiang it's not mei ying it's mei xiang yeah and then number two is the blue whale so the blue whale um there are five thousand of them now because i think sharks are eating them no sharks cannot eat them but one animal that can eat them was the prehistoric shark which is the megalodon i really in love i'm really i really like the megalodon because it's like very interesting and you know it's like his teeth are very big but I don't know whether they are alive today because they are eighty percent of the ocean. Uh, eighty percent of the ocean that is not discovered. So there may be potential which the megalodon is still out there. Yeah. Um. Videos of megalodon washed up and shore are just toys. It's not even real, but the the megalodon should be in the marina trench yeah so the blue whale is the largest known sea animal which is like it's like very big i think it's around 60 to 80 foot you know how long is the blue whale my typing in feet so it's more than 100 feet long so megalodons are i think um, around 60 to 80 feet how big are megalodons if i'm correct you guys have to subscribe 15 to 80 meters by in feet in feet so about 33.5 feet 58.7 feet long so i technically said 50 to 60 i think no i didn't see um 80 feet i think i'm correct i said 50 to 80 right i should be correct you guys have to subscribe if i'm correct so it's also known as endangered species because there are only 5,000 left in the sea which is there should be around like a million i don't know one million no cannot um ten thousand fifteen thousand sixteen thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand there should be so number three is the snow leopard 
Snow Leopard lives in the snow, of course. Um, it's very rare. It's a very, very rare species. And its population is also discre- uh, decreasing. I think it's something with their food chain. Their food chain is going down. But I do hope that it still lives. Because it's very good. I lo- it's, it's a very rare species. So I think, I think it will stay alive. So yeah. And finally, the dodo. The dodo is a bird that went extinct because of hunting activities. It was also known as the lazy bird. It did nothing except walk around, didn't flap its wings, I think. Just flaps its wings. So, um, people of Poland, I think. Uh, people of Poland. What caused the dodo bird to go extinct? People of Poland thing. So over harvesting of the birds combined with habitat loss, so it also lose its habitat and a losing competition with the newly introduced animals was too much for the dodos to survive. The last dodo was killed in sixteen eighty one and the species was lost forever to extinction. For what I think I think scientists can bring the dodo back with some DNA on from other birds. I think it's close re- living relative is what is the dodo's bird uh, what is the dodo bird ah, who is the dodo bird bird the dodo's closest genetic relative was the also extinct Rodriguez solitaire. The two so, so the Rodriguez solitaire also went extinct. I don't think scientists can bring it back right now because of humans. I blame humans for this. Yeah, I actually believe it means. Um, the dodo bird cousin. Who is the dodo bird? Living cousin. Living relative. Nigger bird pigeon. Yes! Finally! Ha! Huh. So, the closest living relative of the dodo is the Nicobar pigeon. I think this is rare, right? The Nicobar pigeon is to be rare. Where am I? Yeah. Um, So, there may be a chance which, which scientists can revive the dodo. I think the DNA is the same. Yeah, I I don't know, but I think all the living relatives of the dodo, um, li- living relatives of any extinct animal, like the living relatives, has the same DNA for with the extinct species. So thank you for watching and subscribe and like if you learn something new and I'll see you in the next video.